All right, guys, what's going on? This is Rob coming back to you, and uh, this is for the PSP. This is for uh, firmware 6.xx uh, to 6.39 right now. This is the CXMB. This is the custom themes enabler SC plugin for your new custom firmware. Uh, basically, I'm going to show you how to install it. So, um, yeah, uh, so let's see. If we go to, oh, I already got it on my desktop. Here it is, right here. The CXMB for 3.71 to 6.39. Uh, basically, what this does is just lets you use custom themes. I'm going to show you how to install it. So first things first, you want to go and make sure that you're on custom firmware 6.390. So uh, Pro V7 or whatever. That's what I'm running on. And um, do do do. So uh, basically, I set up the files for you. If you, when you download this, you're gonna open it up and you're gonna see the uh, CXMB folder with the support folder, configuration text, and the CXMB PRX in there, and the SE plugins folder with the VSH text that says MS0 colon forward slash CXMB slash CXMB dot PRX space zero. You're gonna need all these right here. These two folders, we're going to bring them to the root of the memory stick on the PSP. So what I'm going to do is just connect into USB mode right now by plugging it in like so. Get the fuck out of here, cat. <clears throat> All right, now I'm going to come over here and go to my computer and go to removable drive now you will see I have a CXMB folder already this is from a previous version of CXMB so if you have a previous version of CXMB you're gonna wanna follow this video step by step if you haven't had CXMB whatsoever just take both these folders and drag and drop them into the uh, well take the CXMB put it in the memory stick root like I have mine and the SE plugins just open that up and go into the VSH text document and copy and paste that text into your VSH text document here like I have so so I already have that there now if you had previous versions of CXMB the only thing you're gonna need to do is this open up the CXMB folder and leave it like that open up this and take the CXMB.PRX and drag and drop that in there and it's gonna ask you to move and replace so you're going to click move and replace or copy and uh, you will see that the memory has changed on the space that it takes up now like I said if you don't have a CXMB just take the whole folder and drag and drop that over there like so like that do easy as pie and uh, then what you're gonna do go into your SE plugins folder if you don't have one just drag that whole folder over like I said before with the CXMB and open up the VSH text document and what you're gonna do is go into the SE plugins open up your VSH text in your extracted files control A and then control C to copy or you can just highlight it and right click and say copy it doesn't really matter and paste that in this folder and as you can see I've done that right here like so the ms0 colon slash cxmb slash cxmb dot prx space zero it has to be a zero not a one like all the other se plugins because the zero is on the root of the memory stick inside an se plugins folder it's root one so <clears throat> now that that has been done what we're gonna do is uh, exit this stuff and we're gonna exit USB mode on the PSP so I'm gonna grab the PSP over here and what you're gonna to wanna to do is hit select to get to your VSH menu and say reset the device so reset device and hold down the R trigger this is gonna bring you to your recovery menu as we all know then once that is go to plugins and you should see the CXMB.PRX for the VSH and it's gonna be disabled so you're gonna to wanna to enable that so once you enable that, you can go back and hit back again to exit the recovery menu. And 
now that that's enabled, you should be able to scroll over to your theme settings, click on your themes, and you'll see your custom themes. And uh, any themes that are old custom themes, they will not work, but you'll start to see your custom themes right there for uh, 6.39. And you have to have the custom themes for the firmware that you're on not older ones. Newer ones will work with older firmwares, but older firmware ones won't work with newer firmwares. So just remember that. So I will be making a video on themes um, momentarily. So um, you'll be able to find that link uh, probably right at the top of the screen here, um, probably near this Texas folder and vacation folder. I will have a link that pops up uh, right about now and uh, it'll be a link to the themes video once I have that up so uh, that's how you install the CXMB for your custom themes on 639 Pro V7 custom firmware well any pro firmware so uh, hope you guys enjoy I will have the link for you and uh, rate comment and subscribe and be sure to check out my new website and yeah so take it easy guys and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.